come to 8.9, uh, talking about uh, work with tables. Uh, tables is uh, another type of the element uh, you can use very frequently in uh, PowerPoint. Uh, we have used uh, several videos to talk about the chart. Uh, so this video lets us uh, try a starting point for how to insert a table and how to read uh, the table content. Uh, so let's uh, do our demo directly. So first, let's uh, close all and clear our console. Uh, and then uh, we have now need to create our 8.9 work with tables. And the first one, so uh, the table, I think uh, is, you should be very more than familiar uh, to the, the chart because chart is uh, primarily uh, in uh, the PowerPoint is uh, most frequently used, but you can also insert chart in Excel or Word, uh, uh, but that's uh, not uh, so often. But sometimes it's, uh, that's the uh, use case. Uh, but the table is uh, by default, is the Excel is the table. And uh, in the Word, uh, you, know, you can also insert table. So uh, open uh, Py Excel and the Py, uh, Python docx. So we already have some uh, the uh, those are knowledge, uh, but uh, PyXL, uh, Excel is uh, quite a lot, uh, uh, but PowerPoint itself is not uh, unique, uh, the specified for a handle table, uh, but uh, you can also uh, still insert some table. So what we need to do is uh, you, you need to understand you can insert our individual table or you can use next video we talk about, you can uh, use uh, placeholder to insert a table. Uh, although the placeholder table is not the default uh, slide master components, but you can customize that. Uh, so let's uh, first is we do how to insert a new table. So let's see, 891 insert table P1. Uh, so first let's uh, run and to keep it uh, over working folder to 8.9 and let me run again so it's 0.9 is so clear so uh, the same is uh, like uh, at, uh, uh, at the chart we also have uh, add table so that is under the, the slide uh, shapes uh, level so uh, we starting from our uh, tradition uh, the standard uh, sentence so presentation uh, and then this uh, with low uh, instance of our presentation and we will save that to 891ppt-x. So this is a three sentence, so we have our uh, PPT uh, file generate. Then we load our uh, the lens because for table you need to define the width and the height. Uh, those should be uh, uh, the uh, pointed as the lens. So utility import cm. Use the uh, ESC if you uh, use enter in Visual Studio. Uh, uh, the uh, the code you you will get that auto complete, which is not your uh, expected. And then we create our slide, PPT slide, because we uh, will insert not into the uh, placeholder. So we can just add uh, any slide. So slide is uh, PPT dot slide is number six is the empty one. Uh, we can see if we make it uh, number eight. So let's run and open. So now is the 8.9, so we have this one. So you can see the number nine index uh, is this one. So uh, that is what uh, not what we want. So if I put this uh, to number six and run again and open. So number six uh, slide master is the empty. So you can verify this from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. So it's uh, the number six is a starting count from here. So zero. This is the cover one. So this is the zero. So 
you have uh, the the total is uh, 10. Uh, so that is uh, what we want is just our empty, uh, fully empty page. Uh, and then uh, we starting to define some uh, the variables. Uh, so we should have the row equal to four. You can use this uh, semicolons, uh, uh, semicolons uh, column equal to three and left to equal to top. That's the, uh, the R. Uh, top left uh, corners uh, distance to the your page edge. So CN three. So that's this is same as what we did on the chart. We just make this uh, rectangle weight equal to CN twenty and height equal to CN ten. And then we uh, oh so that is not good. Should have this one. Then it's the graphic uh, of, uh, frame. So uh, maybe we uh, put that uh, table frame is uh, better. So it's not our uh, the chart. So it's better we don't call that as a graphic. So, uh, but uh, anyway, that's just uh, our variable name. So add the table. As long as you keep that consistent, it's fine. So uh, same is uh, let's put that uh, in this. Uh, uh, the line by line. So row is the first uh, arguments and the column, second and the top left. So we, we use x, y. Uh, so now we use top left is uh, more uh, readable. So height. So you have these uh, uh, six arguments. So let's uh, run first. So if it's uh, working, let's see. So from our current file, so double click, you can see here, you already have this, uh, uh, the table by default is the header row has the different uh, color. So uh, so six, uh, uh, four rows, uh, three columns. Uh, and then this, uh, we can print type of our uh, table frame. Then uh, you can see here your type is the graphic frame uh, still. So that's why it's, uh, the author use a graphic frame because from the, uh, the this uh, library they didn't distinguish that. Uh, but I think it's uh, that is uh, your choice. I use this table frame just for people to easier uh, read this code. Uh, so that is uh, no pro uh, difficulty. We get this uh, table. Uh, and once you have this uh, table, here, uh, for example, uh, this uh, PPTX, we have our table. Uh, and I want to uh, read this uh, table. Uh, the table is uh, read, uh, it just uh, like our uh, the drivers, uh, uh, the looping uh, to every shape. Uh, and through the shape is you read uh, the contents of that. Uh, so let's try to load this uh, file and uh, to see uh, what we can uh, uh, read. So let me create 892 read table UI. So for this one, we don't need to save, we just need to, uh, later is, uh, we can also save to, then we can see whether we read that uh, uh, correctly. So they, this will load this uh, presentation and we use the PTTX uh, the shapes we load import is uh, MSO, so MSO shape type. So you can use zip type to load the table. So PPT, so first is this is a presentation, then is the 891 PPTX. So we know this has only one page, and uh, this page has a table. So for slide in ppt.slides. So if you have a multiple slides, you can uh, use this for uh, the level one for loop uh, to get this every page and every page you got this uh, shape in slide.shapes. So you read this uh, and oh, I should have this uh, and if shape dot 
shape type equal to MSO type table. If that's table, we will see is uh, to read is uh, current shape is a uh, table. Uh, and then this uh, we print the type of this ship. It should get this uh, uh, graphic uh, frame, so uh, like this. So let's uh, run this. Oh, let me see. You can see current shape is a table because it can uh, traverse uh, of those and uh, uh, to get this uh, table and then the graphic uh, frame. So that is uh, uh, the very uh, simple way. So you can traverse uh, every slide and uh, go to our slides, uh, uh, the old the shapes. Uh, so let's uh, do our another uh, the trial. So let me copy this. So uh, make uh, multiple tables. So if I put this uh, like eight two. So uh, let me create some uh, additional page. So we have this uh, one table. So let's uh, create another page. And then this is uh, one table. So I put that here and I put this another duplicate table. So if I save that and if I load uh, this uh, number two, so they have this uh, two page, uh, but I should uh, get three gra graphic uh, frame. So you can see this is from the level one, page one, this two from the page uh, page two. So uh, that is the way uh, you can uh, read all the tables. Uh, at least uh, you can uh, get table uh, from the shape. So uh, thank you for your uh, watching uh, this video. So uh, we, we use these uh, two demos to let you know is uh, how you can uh, insert and read table. Uh, next video, let's uh, uh, again use a placeholder to insert some uh, the uh, predefined uh, position uh, the table. So see you then.